Indusaw is India's one of the largest manufacturing company in educational science lab equipments. It has a wide range of equipment for making science learning fun. The capacitance demonstration kit has been designed to demonstrate a parallel plate capacitor which consists of two large plain parallel conducting plates. The capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is given by C equals epsilon 0 A divided by D where epsilon 0 equals 8.85 for times 10 power minus 12 coulomb square per newton per meter is called absolute permittivity of free space. Now, we will look into all the items provided with the Kate. Item 1 for plates, each 20 cm by 20 cm, in two pairs. Item 2. Two plates, each 28 cm by 28 cm, in one pair. Item 3. Glass sheet, 21 cm by 21 cm. Quantity 1. Item 4. Polystyrene sheet, 21 cm by 21 cm. Quantity 1. LCR meter. Quantity 1. There will be two pair of red and black LEDs. Out of this, one pair will be of length 50 cm. Another pair will have length 100 cm. There will be eight spacers in total. Out of these, four spacers could be used either as 2 mm or 3 mm spacers. Another four spacers can only be used as 4 mm spacers. Item 8 is capacitor rail. Quantity will be 2. Item 9. Instruction manual. Quantity 1. Now we will look into the experiments one by one. In the first experiment, we observe how the capacitance of the parallel plate capacitor changes if we change the distance between the plates. These are the items required to perform this experiment. Plates, spacers, LCR meter, LEDs, and capacitor rail. Now, step 1. Place the capacitor rail on the table. Step 2. Mount one plate of size, 28 cm by 28 cm into the capacitor rail. Step 3. Mount another plate of size, 28 cm by 28 cm into the capacitor rail so that the two plates are parallel facing each other. Step 4. Mount one 4 mm spacers at one corner of one of the plates as shown. Step 5. Similarly mount the other three spacers at other three corners of plate. Step 6. Move or slide the plates along the capacitor rail to each other so that they are as close as possible. Don't put extra pressure on the plates to minimize the distance between the plates as it may deform the plates permanently. Step 7. Fix one end of 100 cm red lead into the socket of one of the plate. Step 8. The other end of the red lead should be plugged into the positive port of the LXCX slot of the LCR meter. Step 9. Similarly connect a 100 cm black lead between the socket of other plate and LCR meter. The whole arrangement now will appear like this. Step 10. Now switch on the LCR meter by pressing the power button. Step 11. Rotate the knob of the LCR meter to the 2 nanofarad indicator of the capacitance measuring region of the LCR meter. Step 12. Note down the value of capacitance as displayed in the digital display of the LCR meter. Here, C equals 0.186 nanofarad equals 186 picofarad. For D equals form millimeter with form millimeter spacers. Step 13. Day assemble all the components. Repeat the previous steps for D equals 3 mm with 3 mm spacers and D equals 2 mm with 2 mm spacers. Spacer, 2 mm and 3 mm acts as a dual purpose spacer. It acts as 2 mm spacer from one side and 3 mm spacer from the other side. The capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is given by C equals epsilon 0 A divided by D where epsilon 0 equals 8.85 for times 10 power minus 12 coulomb square per newton per meter is called absolute permittivity of free space.
So, if we change the spacers, the distance between the plates will change accordingly and consequently the capacitance. The different values of the capacitance for different spacers are given in the table. So, we plot the capacitance as a function of 1 by d. Slope of the graph equals 6.9415 into 10 power minus 13 coulomb square per newton. The straight line graph with non-zero slope proves that C is inversely proportional to the distance between the plates. Absolute permittivity of R equals slope by area equals 8.8539 times 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb square per newton per meter square. Now we are finished with experiment 1. In experiment 2, we will study the variation of capacitance with the area of the plates. These are items required to perform the experiment 2. Plates, spacers, LEDs, LCR meter, and capacitor rail. Arrange the setup with larger plates and 2 mm spacers, as shown in the figure. Note down the value of capacitance shown in digital display of LCR meter. In this case, observe value of capacitance is C1 equals 350 picofarad. Replace the plates by 20 cm into 20 cm plates as shown keeping the spacers same. Note down the value of capacitance shown in digital display of LCR meter. In this case, observe value of capacitances, C1 equals 176 picofarad. Now area of each large plate, A1 is 784 centimeters square. And area of each small plate, 8, 8 to is 400 centimeters square. So, the ratio of plates is 1.96. And the ratio of capacitance is 1.99. Since these two ratios are equal so capacitance is proportional to area of the plates. In the third experiment, we will see the effect of dielectric present between the plates of a parallel plate capacitor. These are items are required to perform the experiment 3. Plates, glass sheet, polystyrene sheet, LCR meter, LEDs, and capacitor rail. Place the two parallel plates, each of dimension 20 cm, into 20 cm, into the capacitor rail. Keep the separation between the plates a little more than 4 mm. Connect the LCR meter across the two plates of the capacitor, as shown. Note down the value of capacitance, CR equals 108 picofarad. Now insert the glass plate in between the two plates of the capacitor. Now again note down the value of capacitance, gloss equals 275 picofarad. Since gloss is greater than care, so insertion of dielectric materials, that is glass, increases the capacitance. So, dielectric constant of glass is greater than dielectric constant of air. You can also verify the same observation with polystyrene sheet. In the fourth experiment, we will study the series and parallel combination of two capacitors. These are items required to perform the experiment for plates, LCR meter, LEDs, and capacitor rail. Place one pair of parallel plates of dimension 20 cm into 20 cm into the capacitor rail with the four millimeter spacers. Connect the LCR meter across the two plates of the capacitor with the help of red and black LEDs, as shown. Note down the value of capacitance, C1 equals 108 picofarad. Now mount the other two parallel plates of size 20 cm by 20 cm into another capacitor rail with the 3 mm spacers. Connect the LCR meter and measure the capacitance, C2 equals 124 picofarad. Connect C1 and C2 in series combination, as shown and measure the capacitance with the LCR meter. This capacitance is CS equals 54 picofarad. Connect C1 and C2 in parallel combination, and measure the capacitance with the LCR meter. This capacitance is CP equals 222 picofarad. 
Now individually we have measured C1 equals 108 picofarad and C2 equals 124 picofarad. If C1 and C2 are connected in series, then their equivalent capacitance should be 57.7 picofarad. Practically, we are obtaining CS equals 54 picofarad. So the measured value is in line with the expected one. When C1 and C2 are joined in parallel, then the equivalent capacitance should be 332 picofarad. The measured value in parallel combination is 222 picofarad. So, with an experimental error, the measured and expected values are almost equal. So the laws of series and parallel combination of capacitance is verified.